Welcome to the second park of the trip, Hollywood Studios. This is uh, this is Carly's first time on the ride. She's been here, but she's never done anything. So tons and tons of firsts. Um, I did buckle and get Genie Plus again. Um, managed to get Slinky Dog first thing this morning, and then just booked Rise of the Resistance. Wasn't the wisest, and that's one thing to be careful with with the app is. It didn't warn me that I had overlapping, so now I've got an hour window to get on both those rides, and that's going to be a bit of a judgment call because one I paid twenty-two dollars for, one I've not. Now I can modify Slinky, so maybe I, if I find it later on in the day, I'll shift it. But uh, we've now got two hours to wait because I can't do another Genie Plus until eleven a.m. So let's go for a wander. <laughs> Well, started the morning there on Mickey and Minnie's Runaway Mine Train. Uh, did not do fa um, fast pass? No, did not do lightning lane for that one because I'm still waiting on 11 o'clock when I can book my next one. Um, fantastic dark ride, probably one of the better dark rides out there. Um, and I'm still trying to move my slinky dog because that's the thing I said already, I'm an idiot and I've booked two rides at the same time and one of them I paid for. So <laughs> we'll see. Um, I still can't book another lightning lane for another hour, so a big case off, let's see what queues are small. It's always good when the queue times are wrong in a good way. Just did Star Tours, claimed half an hour, probably only waited 10 minutes. Um, not a massive Star Wars fan, but I do enjoy that ride. And the fact that it is random because they have, I don't know, 50, 100 scenes or something and they just randomly put them together so every time you ride that it is different uh, which is which is great because it gives that re-rideability um, I'm in Florida and it's raining that doesn't feel right so we're gonna find some shelter and chill for a bit until I can book another lightning lane in half an hour That's annoying. I mean, I knew this was closed before I came here. Um, and it's closed for quite some time. There's been a lot of rumblings for a while about it possibly getting rethemed to a different band or different experience. Um, Park hasn't said anything officially, but I think it's I think it's still the summer that it's closed. So they're doing they're doing something pretty substantial. Um, so we'll find out when it reopens. Okay, so the problem with this park is I've chose Lightning Lane because I want to get on everything. But things fill up really, really quick, so the Lightning Lanes that are available are later in the day. And I'm reluctant to use them because then I have to wait two hours to get another one. So we've got one booked in half an hour, so I've stopped to grab some food. And then we'll go and do Smuggler's Run. We had stand, got in the queue for uh, Terror of Terror when it said 60 minutes and then it went up to 95. So I'm taking a gamble that once I've done Smugglers, I can actually get a lightning lane and walk on it later on today. Wish me luck!
Okay, just had first experience of Smuggler's Run because the last time I was here I totally forgot that I even existed and did not do it. Um, we ended up as the engineers. I was quite underwhelmed. I think, I'm just taking a guess here, but I think if you're the pilot, you'll have fun. If you're the engineer, if you're pushing buttons and getting flung about, it's definitely not one worth a queue. If you can lighten and lane it, crack on, but uh, I wouldn't be standing in that queue, that's for sure. Now I've got three or four lightning lanes stacked up and they're in about three or four hours time. So I think we're going to chill out a little bit, maybe do a little bit of shopping and uh, see if there's any small queues. just done Toy Story Mania and I have to say out of the four shooting rides we've done whilst we've been here so Buzz Lightyear, Toy Story Mania and then a Universal that was Fiddling Con and Men in Black. That's the only one that feels like it's accurately counting like you can tell that the things you're shooting are coming from you. The others you, you, you don't know you just see like little red dots or you see little things. That's the best shooter out of all the ones that we've done so far in, uh, in Florida. So it's that time of the evening where basically I have all my lightning lanes stacked up and we have just done Rise of the Resistance, which second time I've ever done that and yeah, <laughs> that has to be one of the most immersive rides anywhere on the planet. It, maybe not even on this planet. It is spectacular. You know, it is a walking attraction, a simulator, a drop tower, a, darkless, a trackless dark ride. It is everything. And as Carly was just saying to me before I started filming, the actors, the, the staff, they just add to it. It is spectacular. If you're not particularly keen on paying for rides, that one, you're not going to be disappointed if you pay the 20 bucks to get on that. It is spectacular. Fantastic. And now, I'm off to do Slinky Dog. Yay! Okay, so we did uh, Slinky Dog, which is uh, great fun. Although, I don't understand the photos thing. I think I've probably said this already in one of the videos. Like, you can't pick your photo. Sometimes it'll be like, hey, I think I found you. And I've got two photos. One is us, just and no more. And the other one is not. Um, but it was good fun. And then we did Swirling Saucers Alien thing. Just, again, to fill time, because we've got uh, Tower of Terror in 40 minutes. And now, again, to fill time, we'll go back on Star Tours. So, I think uh, Genie Plus in this park's a weird one because you kind of want to get Slinky first. I ended up with that late in the day, so that kind of screws everything up. And then you're waiting two hours and you're constantly behind, and it's just difficult to get on things. And then I ended up with everything stacked in the evening. So now I'm just chewing through rides, which is great, but. It's not the best part for Genie Plus. Anyway, we're off to do uh, Star Tours. So we just did a second run on Star Tours, which I think I've said this already, I love that it's randomised, so it was a different experience to earlier. I think one of the scenes was the same, but the rest of it was completely different. So it is a very, very rewritable ride. Um, Could have finished the day on Tower of Terror behind us. We've got a lightning lane now. Um, and then grab some food in the sci-fi diner. So I'll show you a little bit of footage from that. Uh, and then call it a day. That's our day coming to an end. You can probably tell, it's got dark. Uh, so we did Tower Terror. We did it with Lightning Lane, which was way better than standing in the queue for 90 minutes. Um, I absolutely loved it. Carly, not a fan. 
don't think I'll get her on that ever again. Um, then we went and had some dinner at the uh, sci-fi diner, the one where you sit in the, the cars and it's 1950s and you've got the TV, like the movies on. Um, really tasty. Two little quirks about that place though. The seats are really, really tight, like really tight and no elbow room. Um, and it's atmospheric, it's dark. We had our torches on so we could see what the hell we were eating. So that's, I mean, I could do with a torch right now because you probably can't see me. But uh, anyway, that is the end of, Jesus Christ, you can't see me. That is the, the end of our day here at Studios. We're in Bush Gardens tomorrow. Um, so make sure you hit like if you've enjoyed this and subscribe to see that as well. I have been Chris, you've been watching Coaster Dad. See you in Bush Gardens.